From the Vikings that we've covered so far, most of them have had some historical evidence to prove their existence, and while I've dipped into the sagas to flesh out some of their lives, I haven't based a video purely on the sagas alone. Until now. You see, Gunnar Hermandersson's life is detailed in the Njal saga, but beyond that, there doesn't seem to be much proving his actual existence. Whether he is real or fictional is up to you to decide, though given the nature of some of these stories, I think it's safe to say that this guy might be more tale than truth. Gunnar Hamundersen was an Icelandic Viking chieftain in the 10th century, living in the southern region of Iceland. He is extensively documented as I mentioned in the first half of the Njal saga, a set of stories that detail many bloody feuds, as well as the chain of events which were said to lead up to his death in battle. According to the saga, Gunnar's wife is also featured quite prominently in his life. She went by the name Helgordora Hoskuldotta, or Helgora Longbrook, meaning long pants. Helgora was married twice before, but it's said that she killed her former husbands for reasons unknown. Her marriage to Gunnar is said to have been one of pure lust, and that the two weren't actually a conventional couple. Going by the Njal saga, Gunnar was a powerful and athletic man, and is even described as being invincible in combat. Some said that he was so strong, that he was capable of jumping his own height whilst wearing full armour. Gunnar is documented as being a skilled archer when in battle, though he would also use a halberd when the action became close quarters. This halberd was said to be a legendary weapon, which is alluded to having some mystical qualities. The origin of the halberd is quite interesting, for the sagas mention that in around 1000 AD, Gunnar went to battle in the south of Denmark, where he came across a man named Tofi. Tofi would explain to Gunnar that there were two warships nearby, commandeered by two brothers, one of which was named Hal Grimmer. They were said to be mighty men of war, and Hal Grimmer in particular carried the halberd originally, where it was explained by Tofi that it had been created by seething spells. The spells were said to have given the wielder of the halberd special protection, whereby no weapon could slay the wielder but the halberd itself. The halberd was described as being almost alive itself, for the saga implies that it would sing upon tasting the blood of another. It's unknown as to how Gunnar obtained the halberd from Hal Grimmer, but given the nature of Vikings and the description of the halberd granting the wielder protection from everything but itself, I think it's safe to assume that Gunnar managed to disarm Hal Grimmer and then impale him with his own weapon. With the halberd now in his possession, Gunnar would have some form of divine strength, where he would thrust the weapon through his enemy, lifting him off his feet, and then hurling the body away. It was this method of killing people that became something of a signature move for him during battle. As if he wasn't overpowered enough, Gunnar was also described in the sagas as being the most handsome man in the world, a man with blue eyes, ruddy cheeks, thick lustrous hair, and described as generally being well groomed. He was also described as being smart, though not one who was very articulate with his thoughts. As the saga goes on, it tells the tale of a man named Njal Porgirson, a close friend of Gunnar, who would bring advice and foresight. He would tell Gunnar, rather specifically, not to kill two men of the same family, for this would lead to his death. But far be it from Gunnar to question the men of their relatives before he killed them. Gunnar would of course kill two relatives belonging to a powerful family, and with it, they sent for his head. Njal advised Gunnar to leave Iceland and escape, which he also agreed would be the best idea. However, upon boarding the boat, he would turn back and see his homestead and was struck by the beauty of it. So moved by the sight in which was his home, he decided to stay. Men would come hunting for Gunnar at his home. One story states how one man was stabbed by Gunnar's halberd, he would return rather calmly to his camp, with blood spilling out of his wound. His comrades would ask him if Gunnar was home, but rather comically, the wounded man said he didn't know if Gunnar was home, but that his halberd most certainly was. He then fell down and died. The men would rush Gunnar's home after their comrade's death, but he would fend them off with his masterful archery. But his bowstring would break, and so he asked his wife Helgorora for a lock of her hair so that he might mend the bow. But it should be noted that Gunnar had slapped her early on before the battle, for he had caught her stealing food from a nearby farm. Because of this, Helgorora was mad at him and refused to part with her hair to spite him. 
Gunnar had to fight his enemies head on, though despite wielding the halberd, he was overpowered and killed. It's always exciting to imagine Vikings having these epic adventures and battles, and Gunnar Hermundarson is a perfect example of this idea. However, like I stated in the beginning of this video, whether he's fact or fiction is still up for debate. It's possible that there once were men like Gunnar Hermundarson, who had tremendous strength, allowing them to jump high or lift men and toss them yards away. But I think for the most part, tales about a lot of Vikings have been embellished to enrich their legend. But enough about what I think, what about you guys? Was Gunnar real? And if not, where do you think such a tale came from? Do you think that such a weapon as his enchanted halberd existed? And if so, why did it fail him? Furthermore, what even happened to such magic, if it existed at all? Fight amongst yourselves in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at LegendsXHistory, which you can find on screen or in the description below. Our next legend was another son of the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok, who had weak bones, but a strong and cunning mind. Until the next time guys.